Turbo is a catchy word that is a short form for turbocharging. It's a process that uh, was invented back in 1905, but is just coming to prominence today in engines. And it's a process using exhaust gas energy to drive a compressor that rams air fuel mixture back down into the engine. Gives a small engine tremendous horsepower and matching the performance of a much larger engine without all the weight and bulk associated with a big engine. So we're going to show you some of the parts that are associated with turbocharging systems and just how they work to give you that kick in the pants when you step on the throttle. Okay, the turbocharger uses exhaust gas energy to drive the turbine at tremendously high speeds. The exhaust exits the engine through this exhaust manifold, through this pipe here, and we're going to remove it. It enters the turbo right here and strikes the blades of the of the turbine wheel and drives it to tremendously high RPM, as high as 130 to 140,000 RPM. It goes through the turbo and it exits out this pipe here and back into the exhaust system just as a regular car would from here on. This unit here is the wastegate that controls the amount of turbocharger boost. And this end of the turbocharger here is the compressor end and this compresses the incoming air fuel mixture and rams it into the engine via this port here, right back down into the intake manifold. Well, a turbocharged engine can have a kind of a Jekyll and Hyde personality. You can have big engine power, but you'll pay for it in increased fuel consumption when you use that power. Uh, you'll also have to service it more frequently, more oil and filter changes and increased costs on maintenance because of that complexity. On the positive side, it can give moderate fuel economy if you drive reasonably, and you'll sure appreciate that part when you stick your foot in it. She really goes. Until next week, I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring 88.